Hey guys, today I'm filming my makeup inventory for 2024. I've been filming inventory videos on my channel since 2015 and I do like to do six month updates because my collection changes so much throughout the year. I will have all my previous ones linked down below just in case you're curious to see how my collection has grown and the products have changed. So I'm gonna have everything laid out and I'm gonna go category by category through my collection, show you what I have, tell you how many things I have now compared to how many I had six months ago and I will let you know the changes so the things that I used up to cluttered and the new products that I brought in I really like adding that piece but I know it makes the video a little bit longer this is going to be a long video but it is a very in-depth collection about everything that I have and I did have some goal numbers of where I wanted to be by the end of 2023 so I will be updating you on that and for some of these goals I will be adjusting my numbers for 2024 and I have a really big collection. I've been collecting makeup for over a decade and it is the one hobby that I have. I love it. I am fine with accepting the fact that a lot of makeup is going to expire before I use it up. That is okay with me, all right? That is okay with me. You guys know that I do monthly declutters and I do project pans to try to work through my products, but it is just so much fun testing and trying new things. And I don't wanna make a bunch of excuses for it, but like, this is my stuff, my money. If you wouldn't do this with your collection, don't do it with your collection. Simple as that. But if you are curious to see what I have, let's get started. For primer, I currently have 10. Last update, I had nine. So my numbers went up in this category, which is a little bit of a bummer, but just by one. So I did use up the travel size Myriad oil and pore control mattifier, but then I got a full size NPR. And I did finish the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector Glow Makeup. But I got from my friend Amanda that travel size Fenty matte primer, and I purchased that glow recipe. But as you can see, I am working on the Glow Recipe and a project pan right now, as well as the Becca and the Dr. Brandt is in a project as well. So my previous goal was to have no more than 10 primers by the end of the year, and I am still at my goal, which makes me feel happy. And I think 10 is where I want to stay or less, but I'm fine going up to 10. I know it's gonna take me a while to get through these and I know I'll have some other things I'm gonna want to try as well. So feel pretty good about this category. So four foundations currently have 17. Last update, I had 18. So my numbers did go down to this category a little bit. I used up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Matte, NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, and the Cali Ray Skin Tint. I also decluttered the Oma by Sharon C Foundation. But the new ones I've gotten would be the Smashbox NPR. I purchased this Maybelline Skin Tint, which I'm not loving. I wish I returned it when I had the chance. And I recluttered this Estee Lauder Double Wear Max on cover. I wanna see if I can pan that. So I had a goal being down to 15 by the end of the year. I didn't meet that goal. And you guys are probably gonna be like, why? But I'm actually gonna up my goal to be comfortable with having up to 20 foundations because I know there's gonna be some more things coming out that I will want to try. And I really do enjoy trying foundations. I don't want it to get out of control, but I know they take a long time to get through and I'm gonna wanna try new things. So I'm gonna up my goal to 20, but hopefully I can get near that 15 still. I mean, that would be lovely. I want to pan the four of these this year. Four concealers, I currently have nine. Last update, I had eight. So my numbers did go up by one, which makes me sad because I used up a ton of products, but there were so many new launches that I wanted to try. So I did end up tossing my MAC Pot Concealer because it was old and the lid broke, so it wasn't really sanitary. I used up my corrector from Dominique Cosmetics and Milani, and I used up my NYX Bear With Me and Benefit Boing concealers. I ended up getting Lancome and Smashbox in PR, as well as the two from Tower 28, and then I purchased Colfi and Live Tinted. The KVD, Tarte, and Estee Lauder are here from last update. And I would like to, this year, use up these two, these two, and this Tower 28 I'm gonna use as a like corrector type of replacement product. My goal is to be to get down to six by the end of the year. I don't quite think that's gonna happen for me because I have backups of these. 
So I think that I am going to up my goal again to be no more than eight. Again, I know this is bad that I am changing all of my goal numbers to go up, but I'm just trying to be realistic with myself and still be able to enjoy some new releases, but I'm going to you know, try to use up as much as I can. For face powder, I currently have 11. Last update, I also had 11, so my numbers have stayed the same. I did use up my Ciate Extraordinary Loose Powder, my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, and my e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. I know I used up some Derma Blend, but I got more of course i purchased the lawless during sephora sale the laura geller i recluttered back into my collection and that little mini nars was sent to me by my friend amanda so that is why my numbers have stayed the same my goal was to be down to 10 by the end of the year i didn't quite make it but i'm gonna leave my number where it is because these five are in projects to finish and I am working on the Jacqueline as well, but that's a glowy powder that's not going to be done. If I can get through those main five and then I'm able to work on the Laura Geller, that would be great. But anyway, I'm working on a lot of powders that I don't have backups of, so my number should actually be able to go down. So I'm going to leave it at 10. I think that's very realistic. And with my planning to pan, I am saving room for potential new powders. For settings where I currently have a six, last update I had eight, so my numbers went down. Woohoo! Unfortunately, I had to toss the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Spray. The formula was jacked, it would not come out of the bottle no matter how much I tried. And I used up the Too Faced Peach Mist and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Spray. And the new one I got would be that MAC Fix Plus Stay Over. My goal was to have no more than 10 which I'm definitely nowhere close to there. I am hoping to have these three finished by the end of the year, which would leave me with just three, but I might want to try that Cali Ray one. So I think I'm going to actually change my goal and move it down to five. Look at me lowering a goal. For cream cheek products, if I counted correctly, I currently have 51. Last time I had 53, so my numbers went down, which is amazing but I know in my end of the year declutter I did let go of some blushes which is how my numbers went down so for my cream and liquid bronzers last time I had 18 I still have 18 so I used up my bare minerals bare skin sheer sun serum bronzer finally I decluttered a deep shade of the elf halo glow liquid filter and the elf putty bronzer so I did bring in two liquid bronzer replacements, the Flower Beauty and Physicians Formula. And then I did get the shade Mojave in the Persona Bronzer Stick. For liquid highlights, I currently have two. Last update, I also had two, but they're different. I used up my Flower Beauty Spotlight Liquid Highlight and I decluttered the Phyto Surgeons. And now I have those two mini Rare Beauty Liquid Highlights. And I have a plan on using those up this year so we'll see if I get in any others and I don't have a goal for bronzers specifically but a couple of these are in my chopping block like the NARS Kaja and the Rare Beauty ones but there are so many formulas and colors here that I just absolutely love so here are my liquid and cream blushes. I currently have 31. Last time I had 33, so my numbers went down, which is exciting. And again, I hope that I'm counting this correctly. I know that I got rid of my two Fido Surgeons blushes, Jaclyn Hill Cream Blush, Natasha Denona, and Beauty Counter, and a Tarte, and a Kiko. Okay, yes, that is several that I have let go of. I currently have these two in my chopping block. This was, but I've tested it and I love it. And then the new ones that I've gotten would be this shade of Patrick Ta in She's Flushed. I got this Say liquid blush from my friend Lauren in PR from Laura Geller. I got another of these serum blushes in the 
pink shade. I already had the peach one. And then I got a holiday set from Rare Beauty with these two liquid blushes. And this Make It By Mario Rose Crushed Cream Blush is new as well. I am feeling really happy with what I have here, minus these two in the chopping block I need to figure out. But I've actually been using these liquid ones a little bit more this month and really enjoying them. So I feel good with the colors and formulas that I have. I might still want to try some other things. So I don't have a specific goal with blush either but I just want to keep it in check because I am a powder blush girl overall. I was hoping to be down to 40 cream and liquid cheek products total by the end of the year. I'm not. I'm at 51 so I think I'm gonna up my goal to 50 just because I know there's gonna be more stuff coming out that I'm going to want to try. Flower Beauty has some new liquid blushes that are Charlotte Tilbury wand dupes. I know I'm going to want to try one of those. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit of room in case I want to try other things that I don't want to go crazy. For bronzer, I currently have 19. Last update, I also had 19. So my numbers have stayed the same. I decluttered the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, but I got in this lighter shade of the Kosas bronzer. I also had a mini benefit that I decluttered for this full size that I got in PR. I had a goal of being down to 18 by the end of the year. I did not meet that goal. That is okay. I am going to actually change my goal to make it 15. And that might be very challenging. But I did put a lot of these bronzers in my chopping block because I think some of these are good but not amazing. I just don't know that I need them anymore. It's just hard for me to let go of bronzers for some reason. And I did buy just about everything that was here which always makes it a little bit harder. So we will see what ends up happening. There are a couple here that I'm absolutely in love with and others I think are just fine, but we will see as I test and go along. For highlighter, I currently have 18. Last update, I had 24. So my numbers have gone down a lot. They went down by six, which I feel like I must have miscalculated, but I didn't, which is amazing. So I got rid of an Ofra Pan highlight. I don't know which one. I decluttered Sparks from Jaclyn Cosmetics, the Laura Mercier Matte Bake Radiance Powder the Vesca Highlight Rare Beauty, Urban Decay. So that's where all of the highlights have gone and I don't have anything new. And then I do have a couple of these in my chopping block. So we'll see if I can let go of anything else. And my goal is to be at 24. I'm way below my goal at 18. And I am going to leave my goal at 18. Even though I think I can get rid of some of these just in case highlight comes back this year. I want to leave a little bit of wiggle room, but I'm going to change my goal down to 18. So happy with all of the progress here. So for powder blushes, I currently have 57. Last update, I had 70. So my numbers have gone down, which is amazing and surprising. So because I have so many blushes, I like to show you the things that I brought in in the past six months and the things that are in my chopping block top row would be the things that I have purchased. This would be the Too Faced Persona and the rest of the RMS blushes. And then the bottom two rows are Chopping Block. I'm not sure if I love all those benefit shades. Frat Boy is something that I just don't know if I can let go of because of sentimental reasons, but I don't reach for it as much. That is a Pat McGrath Duo blush that I don't love as much as my other one. Lawless, Buxom, Tart, and Glowish. I just don't use them as much but I want to play with them. I still like them enough that it's been really hard to let go of. Some of these have been in chopping blocks for a few years so my goal was to be down to 60. I did meet that goal which is fantastic. I'm gonna leave my goal at 60 because you guys know I love blush and it's very possible I want to bring something in and it's hard for me to let, let go of them too. You guys I have a very sad update. I actually have 62 blushes because I forgot about my MAC palette which has five more blushes so I did not hit my goal of 60 but I am going to keep that goal of 60 because I do think it's possible for me to hopefully get down to there but oh my gosh that literally just broke my heart to find that I had five more blushes. For face palettes I currently have 21. Last update I also had 21 so my numbers have stayed the same but I did declutter my Lorac highlighter palette and my Natasha Denona Bloom cheek palette. The new ones I've gotten would be this Odin's Eye Salmon that my friend Amanda gave me and that Hourglass Snake palette that I got with my Ulta Points. A couple of these are in my chopping block, but it is so hard to let go of 
face palettes, but I might be able to sell some things, but I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I think most of these are still going to be hanging around, and I definitely want to get the Sigma Beauty and the Beast Cheek Trio whenever I'm able to get that for a really good sale, so that will definitely be coming in in the next six months, so we'll see if my numbers go up or if I declutter anything, but I have a goal of being under 25 face palettes, so I am still under that goal, which makes me feel really good. I'm so sorry that I keep jumping back in. I keep missing things and finding them, four face palettes I said that I had 21 which would have been the same time as last update but I actually have 22 I forgot about this little mini Charlotte Tilbury one that I just got from Sephora so still under my goal amount of 25 but yes I have 22 not 21. For brow products I currently have 13 last update I hit 15 so my numbers did go down which is exciting so I decluttered the Benefit Cut Brow and the Patrick Ta Brow Soap and the NYX Brow Glue and I used up the Kosas Air Brow Gel and then the new things that I've gotten would be that NYX Fill and Fluff Brow Wax which was an Ulta free gift and the Live Tinted Brow Gel which was an Ulta free gift. And I could be wrong, but I feel like I wrote down that I had a goal of being down to seven brow products. And that sounds lovely, but I don't quite see that happening anytime soon. So if I could just have 10 brow products, I think that would be great and challenging enough. So it just takes me so long to get through clear brow gels. Let me know, do you guys switch yours out every three, four, or six months? How often for full-size brow gels? Because I know that I could use it for an eternity, but even, you know, it's not quite as sensitive as mascara is, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I don't want to be wasteful, but I also want to like work through what I have. So I'm thinking maybe every four months so I could get through a few of these. And yeah, we will just see what ends up happening, but I've got a decent stash here. A lot of these things were free in some way, which is awesome. I think the only things that I paid for would be these four Benefit Brow products. For eye primer, I currently have one. Last update, I had two, so my numbers did go down. I used up the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and I did use up the ABH as well, but I repurchased this. I am gonna leave my goal at two, though. I really like having both of them. Urban Decay is clear and the Anastasia is tinted, but if I had to pick just one, I would pick the Anastasia. This is really nice. So four chrome shadows, I currently have 21. Last time I had 25, so my numbers did go down. But that is because I decluttered five of those Phytosurgeon's Cream shadows. So I have gotten some new things in. That would be a little mini Laura Mercier Rose Gold, which is almost done. And this Bobbi Brown Golden Pink Full Size that I got as a really great Ulta Free Gift. And I did use up the Balm Batter Up Shadow Stick. My goal was to have just 20 cream shadows by the end of the year because I figured I was gonna get rid of those Phytosurgeons ones. So I'm pretty close. I only need to use up one more. I feel like that's gonna happen in no time. Again, that little mini Laura Mercier and I won't replace it because I've got that golden pink, which is essentially the same thing. I am working on this one in a project pan and I hope to finish this by the end of the year as well. This is in my chopping block. So I definitely think that I will hit that goal of 20 and hopefully I will be a little bit under that. But you guys know I love my cream shadow sticks. For liquid shadows, I currently have three. Last update, I also had the same three. So my numbers have stayed the same. And I've got my Urban Decay Glitter Liners in a Project Pan this year. These are all chopping block products, so we'll see what ends up happening. These have hung on for a really long time, but I'm definitely going to not really let myself buy any new ones. For ColourPop Super Shocks, I currently have zero. Last update, I had six, so my numbers went down. I decluttered all of them. It is just not my type of product anymore, which is so crazy to say because I used to be absolutely obsessed. For single shadows, I currently have 45. Last update, I had 43. So my numbers have gone up in this category, but just by a few. And I actually have made a lot of changes. I decluttered a product from 
Kaja, a few from Urban Decay, Jaclyn Cosmetics, and Tarte. And then for the new things I have, I actually recluttered these two Hourglass Scatter Lights eyeshadows. I got these two Odin's Eye Singles for Christmas. I have this Glaminatrix single shadow. I got this Natasha Denona single sample eyeshadow in a freebie bag. Merit Colfi and these three here from Half Magic. So lots of changes here. My goal was to be down to 40. I have not reached my goal. And I'm actually gonna bump my number up to 45. I really like the products that I have right now. And if I choose to let go of anything else, great. But I do feel really good with the things that I have. For small palettes, I currently have 33 at last update. I have 34, so my numbers did go down in this category, which is amazing. I decluttered the Mini Metropolis from Natasha Denona. I also decluttered Mini Sunset. Dose of Colors, I love Sarah E. The Makeup by Mario Bronzy Glam Quad and two of my M Cosmetics palettes. The new ones that I have would be Flower Beauty Garden Lights and Coastal Lights, this little mini Tarte Man Eater palette, the Juvia's Place and Vanessa collab, and the Natasha Denona Mini Starlet palette. My goal was to be down to 30 by the end of the year. I didn't reach that goal. That is okay. And I'm actually going to bump my goal up to 35 just to leave room for other Natasha Denona mini palettes. I'm still trying to resist the mini dream, but that one might end up making its way to me, but we'll see. For large palettes, I currently have 90. Last update, I had 85, so my numbers did go up in this category. Because I have so many, I only show you guys the ones that I brought in in the past six months. So. Right here I have 12 different palettes and my numbers only went up by five. So I'm glad I got rid of something. It's so hard letting go of palettes, especially because they're like one of the most expensive products out there. But I have so many goodies here and a lot of these I did get as gifts from my parents or Justin. So what I have here would be the Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge, It's Belle Cosmetics Pixie Grove, Glaminatrix Cosmetics Rich Romantic, What's Up Beauty Dragon Eye I got in PR, ColourPop Rudolph, Pat McGrath Holiday Palette, Starstruck Splendor, Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude, then Odin's Eye, Hey Reindeer, Snow Dream, and Christmas Eve Palette, and then I have Odin's Eye, Stone and Rock, and Jewels and Gems. My goal was to be down to 75 palettes. That's not happening. I'm not getting rid of 15 palettes. So I'm gonna bump my goal up to 80. Getting rid of 10 would still be really hard and that means not bringing in anything new. So I can see myself breaking 100, which is not great. It's not good, but hopefully you guys get it. I know, this is embarrassing. For liquid liner, I currently have one. Last update, I had three. Some numbers did go down. I used up the Physicians Formula Waterproof and the brown KVD tattoo liner. And now I just have this one. My goal was to be down to two, so I am below my goal, which is great, but I definitely do want a brown liquid liner. I had a great time using it, so I would like to bring that in this year at some point. So happy to be even below my goal. For pencil liner, I currently have 28. Last update, I had 31, so my numbers did go down this category, which is super exciting. I decluttered one from Odin's Eye and several from ColourPop. And I believe I just got one new one since last time, which would be this mauve shade from Nabla, which is stunning. So my original goal was to be down to 25 by the end of the year. You can see I did not reach that goal, but that is okay. And I know that I went two of the three new Persona liners, so I'm going to be up to 30 liners at least. So I'm just gonna go ahead and raise my goal from 25 to 30 pencil liners. I do a good job of rotating through these and these two shades are in my chopping block right now, but the rest of these I really love. For mascara, I currently have 17. Last update, I had 18, so my numbers did go down and I used up several mascaras, but then right there at the end of the year, I did get several mascaras in Ulta Freebies. All five of these are new 
everything else was here last time I believe I'm currently using these three my goal was to be down to 15 by the end of the year I didn't make it but that's okay I'm very close and I am going to keep that goal at 15 just because I know that freebies are going to come in and I'm okay allowing myself to buy one or two mascaras based on new things that come out for lip care, I have 12 products. Last time I had nine, so my numbers did go up. I decluttered a Super Goop Play lip balm, and I used up a Jack Black Intense Therapy and a Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and Peppermint, but I did have backup, so you can't really see reflected in my numbers. And then I did get a few new products the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in Peppermint and the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Sweet Mint and the uh, ColourPop and Rudolph Lip Scrub and Lip Mask. My goal was to have no more than 10 by the end of the year. I did not meet that goal, unfortunately, but I do believe that I want to leave it at 10 for this year. There are some things here I would like to use up and not repurchase and one thing I might declare is in my chopping block. So we will see, but I am working on the both of these right now. And my lip scrub, which will probably take most of the year to use up. For lip liners, I have an embarrassing 34. Last update, I had 23, so my numbers have gone up quite a bit. Bit. I did not declutter any. I didn't use any up. I got these eight lawless ones in PR. I purchased this one from Sephora. I got the Buxom in PR and I purchased this one from Rare Beauty in a kit. My goal was to be down to 20 lip liners. That is obviously not happening anytime soon. All these formulas are really great. I need to go through and compare some colors and try to weed some things out. I feel like I should pass on some of these lawless ones, but the colors are just so beautiful and if I'm going to keep this many lip liners I definitely have to make sure that I'm using one most days so I need to step it up there but it's gone up a lot but I only purchased two if I can try to feel better about that. For bullet lipsticks I currently have 40. Last of date I had 32 so my numbers went up by quite a bit which is a bummer. I did use up a MAC tinted lip balm in Sweet Treat. I got rid of several things but I did get a lot of new products in as well. All of these lawless ones are new. Milani, BK Beauty, Nabla, Dubious Place, Kosas, NARS, and hard candy these are the ones down here that are in my chopping block as well as the lawless lippies my goal was to be down to 27 obviously i'm nowhere close i am going to make my goal 30. i would love it to be just what can fit in this organizer but there have been so many glossy lipsticks that have launched and that is really my thing so I just don't think I can get it down to 24. I'm going to have to come up with some other storage solutions though. So my goal is going to be 30, which is obviously still really challenging because I have 40 lippies right now. Next we have my jumbo lip crayons. I currently have 13. Last update I had nines. So my numbers have gone up in this category. I did not declutter or use anything up from last time, but this product did start to become a little bit more popular along with those more shiny lipsticks so i did get four new ones the hourglass phantom balm nyx fat oil slick click and two of the about face cherry pick lip color butters and i had a goal of being down to eight i'm actually going to up my goal to be let's just say max 15 because i feel like this type of product is going to be more popular this year and like i said this hydrating glowy lipstick balm type of thing is my type of product so i really do see my collection going up here i already have a couple other nyx shades on my wish list so we will see what happens Next for my liquid lipsticks, I currently have 25. Last time I had 26. My numbers did go down slightly. I decluttered too many Too Faced Melted Mattes and I did get this Live Tinted Hue Cream. Everything else here is the same. The two NARS ones are in my chopping block again this year and 
I will probably not buy very many liquid lipsticks. I know I've gotten a few over the past year or so. Well, actually, no, just the one. But I got the Buxom ones the year before. So I've gotten a few new ones here and there. But I want to try to keep in check because this is not my favorite type of lip product. And really, I'm just keeping these until they dry up and I don't plan on replacing them. So we'll see where this number stands. I had to zoom all the way out for this one. This is incredibly embarrassing. I knew I had a lot. I didn't know it was this many. I feel like I need to go on a lip gloss snow buy. I need to do a series to clutter. I'm gonna try to use up as many as I can this year. I used up a lot last year. I used up over 20 lip glosses, but oh, this is sick. Oh my gosh. This is sick. Okay, so let me just stop delaying the inevitable. So I currently have 104 lip glosses, if I counted correctly. Last update, I had 82. I've gotten 22 more lip glosses. So for this mess of an organization, these are my faves. These are some just overflow. Overflow. Chopping block. New in PR. All of these are new in the past six months. These ones are in my project pan and these are two like clear glosses I'm gonna be using as purse balms. One of which I got in the past six months. That's insane. This is more than someone's entire lip gloss collection. So I got this little mini Fenty one in an Ulta freebie bag, Milani fruit fetish lip oils, limited edition buxom gloss, a couple of the elf lip oils. I got a holiday set that had four of these in beauty. This was a set, Live Tinted, Dose of Colors, Persona, Lawless, Milani Fruit Fetish. And then the ones I got in PR would be this Buxom Kit and these two from Kaja. It's so crazy that out of all of this, this is all that I have in the chopping block. I feel like I should just close my eyes and get rid of it because it's just nuts. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I know you can't see everything, but if you were looking at this, what were some things that, in your opinion, would be must keeps and must pass? Please let me know. <gasps> this is so shameful. So that was my makeup inventory for 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I would love to hear in the comments your inventory numbers or maybe what are some of your categories with the lowest amount of product and the highest amount of product. And I will have my hair, skin, and body inventory coming soon in case you are curious about those products as well. I wanna thank y'all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.